for BC early. And these first four minutes are key for this Eagles team to come out strong and ready to play. Well, there's a chance for Reyes getting the start today. And J.C. Reyes on the board. Another offensive rebound, though, for Reyes, though he lost it on the ground. Offensive rebounds have been a big thing for Boston College this year. They're averaging nearly 13 offensive boards a game. A few big wins. Speaking of Chapman, he went four for four in the last 16 seconds versus Duke when they had that big win there, and that was a great take inside. You can have a chance to get good quickly. And they might be five and five on the record, but they've had some four games within five points as we see Mitchell step up and hit a huge three there. Shakopee, Minnesota, who was so good defensively against Duke, holding Marvin Bagley, maybe the best player in the nation, to five points in the second half. <laughs> there is Bowman coming off a 30-point effort against Duke last Saturday. I Bowman with the steal and early ups on a Sunday. Eagles have a 9-5 lead in the first part of this game. Austin Nell's open for three. The junior, who's a 40% three-point shooter, stripes one. Played some wonderful games against Boston College back in those Big East days in the early 90s. Popovich on the left-hand scoop. Seven games to the injury. Nell's on the handoff and a nice extra dribble by Mustafa Jones to get in position for the layup. Great transition game, and they've scored 10 of their points off of that transition. Here's Robinson on a pull-up jumper. Good for Jerome Robinson, the junior. Here is Tyler Cole, who gets a nice pass for Jones running in the paint. Half-court offense and really using and reading screens. In and out from Robinson. Mitchell, though, with an offensive rebound and put back by Dion Butte. Mitchell got it back, just five to shoot. Popovich kicks. Chapman open for three. Chapman off the top of the show, finding his form of late. Over 50% from three the last two. Cole to answer over Chapman. Out there with Batiste, who has not played the last seven games. This is really the first time Central Connecticut's had their full roster all year. On a leave of absence from the school, came back on November 27th. Bowman on a high arcing right hand, good. Zach goes around to Bowman with 10 to shoot for BC. Popovich from up top, and he knocks down a three. Spot from beyond the arc. And a triple has BC up by six. Run the clock down on each of their possessions. Williams on the take for Nell. Someone's got to get it up. It's Jones for three, and he knocks down another one. Once again, the Blue Devils have done a great job of making that extra pass, and Nell's had it. We'll see here with the answer from Robinson. Playing time today with Popovich. Ray is getting the start. In the front court, all of these pieces looking to replace Teddy Hawkins. There's a three from Tyler Cole. They are now shooting 65% from the field, and the Eagles have to do a better job of really contesting their shots as we see Bowman to have another great drive to the basket. Outstanding. Yeah, today alone, they are the bench already has five points, so it's going to be key for them to see some young players step up. We see Chapman again with another huge three for the Eagles. But an offensive board from Dion Butte. Nell's got an open look again, and he's not going to miss two. Stride. Extra pass for Baker, who passed on the three, and got a nice right hand. Six-point game again. Here's Nell's held it in the left hand, tried to get over Baker, then it's taken right back by Williams, and Mustafa Jones, the senior, there to clean it up. Was able to get it, though. Down to 18 to shoot. Robinson head up. Gets it off for Reyes who scoops it. Two fouls along with Baker. See where Central Connecticut goes. It's a quick shot that's good for Mustafa Jones along two seconds for Jerome Robinson. Makes his move at five. Got to get it up, does so with one and a half, and he strikes a three at the horn. Five boards for Bowman in the game to go along with six points, two assists. His pass for Chapman, a good one. Left hand, no, but the second effort, good. 
top 10 worthy pass, but then Popovich here loses the handle. Blue Devils on the run out. Cole got rid of it for Jones. They have a chance to do some damage this year in the conference. Robinson on a nice move all the way in and the foul. For the only nine free throws taken in the first half of that game on Tuesday. Hugh, we got a round Popovich, but then it was Mitchell coming in to close out. Finish over Popovich. PC's trying to stretch the margin. Mitchell in with the left hand and a timeout, Blue Devils. One for six from the floor to start here in half number two. Eagles have their largest lead. Bowman trying to add to it. <laughs> Nothing Eagles run to extend the lead. Here's a deep three from Cole trying to snap the drought. Offensive rebound, Hughley in the putback. Good. Area where the Blue Devils have struggled. Bowman off for Popovich, who's thrown a couple of nice passes, nearly lost it. Got Mitchell, though, who's good on the jumper. Nice hand going left and couldn't make it. Long Cole outlet for Robinson, who's good. And what a pass from Mitchell. Well, that's 11. Bowman, as BC picks up the pace, got Popovich right back for Bowman. What a pass. Eights go on the give and go to each other to extend the lead to 20 points here in the second half. And a block shot by Mitchell. Doesn't it? Not easy being a freshman coming in and playing big minutes in the ACC, but he's done a great job of it so far. Another forced turnover, and what a pass! <laughs> Robinson and Bowman with big smiles. Coach Christian can't speak about him highly enough as a person and as a player, and the amount of work he puts in on his own. Three pointer for Vin Baker Jr., he has five points. Here's a lob pass for Williams. Couldn't get it on the way up, but got it on the way down. Christian said he came into practice and worked just as hard as anyone else and was ready to play and had some big minutes versus Columbia. Columbia. And he's got a three. And a big point towards his bench. Totally flipped the script here, 27-7. to They've outscored Central Connecticut in the second half, make it 27-10, to as the triple is good for Kashawn Hicks. Here's a three for Batiste, and it's good. Roll due to injury. That was really the first open three that the Blue Devils have had this half. Down and a foul for Kai Bowman. Here's Jones. That's a long two. And it's knocked down. Mustafa Jones, the 72-51. Still over eight minutes remaining here. Second half from Conti Forum. Chapman on a turnaround for the elbow for 12 points for Jordan Chapman. Game and I have to say, I know we're not supposed to be biased, but as a BC alum, I was Well, you're so allowed. <laughs> you went here. <laughs> I'm allowed, Popovich but... Popovich turned around with right hand. Good. Oh, in the country at the D1 level who were top five NBA draft picks. Chapman for three is good. Jordan Chapman from the corner. Outscoring Central Connecticut 36-17 to here in the second half. Cole, good for three over Mitchell. It feels like they've come a long way, already one win short of last year's total. Floater is good, and a nice right hand for Eric Bolts, the junior. He was also picked to be one of the last in the ECC, and who is proved that they're able to play with anyone in the country. The Altovich right hand is good. And Here's Shakaris Laney in the game for the first time. His jumper's no good. Jones pulled a rebound. Here's a three in stride for Tyson Batiste, the sophomore. Dartmouth as well on the 13th of January for jumping at ACC play full time. Right hand is good. Chris Williams, the sophomore, is sophomore out of California, which is off the mark. Kraljevic inside, got the right hand to go. So we'll move to nine and three on the season. Right hand followed up by Marshall, his first points of his sophomore season. Another big win for BC, 84-65 as the Eagles pick up the victory today to 9-3 on the 2017-18 season.